Time for baseball now on the show as we give you a look inside Guaranteed Rate Field in Chicago. It'll be Conquest Baseball action this evening between the Ducks and the White Sox. Two of the best bats in the business go at it next on the show. Number 68, the California-born right-hander is on the mound. Harold, any thoughts? Well, he's got four pitches to work with and uses them all at all different times in the game. So he keeps hitters off balance and gives you a lot to think about. Here's D. Gordon now. He will lead this one off today. And we are underway this afternoon as the first pitch is over for a called strike one. The windup and the 0-1. Line toward right center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. And he's out trying to stretch it into a double, so a costly mistake here leading off the inning. Standing in, Rod Carew. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Hit hard towards center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. The throw into second. The tag, and he's nabbed, trying for two. Batting third. The right fielder number Digging 20. in the switch hitter, Neil, Neil Walker. Walker. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Line toward the alley in left center. Oh, and this deflects right off him. Throw into second. On to the second baseman covering, and he can't handle it. Luckily for him, though, there'll be no advance. One team's dream inning is another team's nightmare, right? That's their third hit of this opening inning. This one a double. That's got to have the pitcher pretty upset out there and the manager wondering how long he's going to go in this one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. The relay, and nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over.
We've got baseball for you from guaranteed rate field on the south side of Chicago. Miguel Gonzalez, the right-hander from Mexico, gets the ball here. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, he's got five pitches, and I mean, they're all good. He throws them for strikes. He dominates. He mixes speeds up. I asked him one day, what's your best pitch? And he told me, all five. And this goes right through him. And how about that to start a game? And he's out trying to stretch it into a double, so a costly mistake here leading off the inning. Center fielder, Rod Stepping Carew. up now, Rod Carew. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Hit on the ground out to short. Anderson brings it in. Throw in time at first for route number two. Batting third, 
the right fielder number 20 Neil Walker here's Neil Walker first chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on first pitch on its way this is pulled into right and he will get there to make the running play and that will end the inning and here's the leadoff man Melky Cabrera to get us and leading off for the White Sox left fielder Melky Cabrera And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Throw on to first is in time to get him. So that'll go down as a strikeout and a 2-3 to three put out for out number one. A moment here from the south side to take a look at the Pale Hose starting lineup in this one. Harold, what's the key for them today? Matt, have you seen this guy throw? Ooh, he is electric. What do you got to do against him? I think you got to attack him early. He's just too overpowering. His stuff is electric. He's got one of those great power arms that we'll talk about for years to come. You got to take it to him before he takes it to you. Jose Abreu. So here's the slugging first baseman, Jose Abreu now. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Ed Drummond. Yeah, Matt, it seems like Drummond is pretty reasonable back there. He's consistent. You don't see many guys rubbernecking calls on him. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and oh now. 3-0 and oh now. Sitting 3-0 and oh right here. I wouldn't be surprised to see him turn him loose and give him the green light. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Well, I thought with two outs right there in that situation, he probably had the green light 3-0. and Maybe he didn't get it where he wanted or get the pitch he's looking for, so he took it. But I think he's probably swinging here, too, 3-1. And, Dan, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. And Baez will put this one away to retire the side. White Sox come up empty first time around. We'll head to the second in Chicago. No score. At the plate, Javier Baez. He'll look Leading to get something going hand. here in this scoreless Left ball field. game. Javier Baez. Yeah. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Now on 0-2, I don't think we're going to see any more hittable fastballs. If we see one at all, it'll probably be extended out of the zone, or at least that'll be the intent. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1-2. and two. Heading out towards shallow right. Garcia has a read on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. All right, first. Matt, time for majestic first defensive base. alignment for the White Sox. Seven. And I'm looking down at first base at the big Cuban, Jose Abreu. You talk about a fuss over a private workout. He had everybody in baseball wanting to sign this guy. And years later, we know why. Started to go Boy, around man. there, but he holds up ball one. Good check swing on that off-speed pitch. Clearly he's sitting fastball ready to let it fly. He recognized it was an off-speed pitch and was able to hold up. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. No score here as we play inning number two. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. Line to the right side. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Ready now, Jose Peraza. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. 
into the windup and the pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. And leading off for the White Sox. Third baseman. Swing and From the south side of Chicago, welcome to the home of the White Sox, guaranteed rate field. Tonight, it's Conquest Baseball between, between the, the Ducks, Ducks and the White Sox. White Sox Dean baseball Jordan. starts right now. Hit out towards second. And on one pitch, he's retired. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. What do they need to do to get a win on the road here today, Harold? Well, Matt, facing a sinker baller, you got to think about get the ball up. What happens with the guy? A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And hold on now. That's a fair ball down the left field line. Should be at least a double. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. In two pitches, you can see how Adding quickly third. your fortunes right can change in this game. 
First pitch of the Neil game, no Walker. problem. He gets an out. Second pitch, it gets laced to the outfield for a double. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Ashy is there, and that's the second out of the inning. Here's Javier Baez. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, what a pitch to start the at-bat there. It's nothing in one. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights-out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Garcia is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So they get a man to second here in the opening half inning, but fail to capitalize. Now it's the White Sox turn in a scoreless ball game. And here's the leadoff man, Melky Cabrera, to get us rolling in the home half of the first. And leading off for the White Sox. In there for strike one. Melky. The 0-1. A high fastball is in there. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Afternoon baseball here on the show. It'll be conquest baseball action this evening between the Ducks and the Leading Royals. The a valuable territory and a lot of fan Dean support are on Gordon. the line. Next, D. Gordon stands in as he checks his swing here for strike one. Comes set and the 0 1. Swing and a pop up behind home plate, and that'll get out of play and into the VIP seats. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Should be in for a warm one this afternoon. 91 degrees, our first pitch temperature. Here's the one and two delivery. Fastball, strike three called, and he's caught looking to begin the afternoon. Standing in, Rod Carew, exactly. as he'll get his first Center opportunity fielder. in this one. Rod Carew. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope. And this is taken outside for ball one. Now here's the pitch. And that's nope. inside. inside. Looked like the slider, and it's 2-0. The 2-0 on the way. Line toward the gap in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Throw into second. The tag, and he is out at second. 
Well, he clearly thought he had a shot at two on the hit, but they did a nice job in the outfield of getting it in quick to cut him down. Here's Neil Walker. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. 0-1, here's the pitch. Hard hit to first. Fielded cleanly by Hosmer. And he'll step on the bag himself. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we bring you conquest baseball action between the Ducks and the Royals. Fan allegiances in a key territory are on the line. Next on the show, D. Gordon stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. And here's a ball hit in the air, and that's taken in by Escobar for the first out. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. What do they need to do to get a win on the road here today, Harold? This is going to be a dogfight tonight. They are facing a premier pitcher. I'm talking about one of the elite guys in the league. I want to see if they make little tweaks to how they might attack him. Are they going to lay off that nasty breaking ball with two strikes? Or will they be able to drive the ball to the ballpark when they get that one pitch to hit? This is going to be a great matchup. The tag, and he is out at second. Coming to the plate now, Neil Walker. Walker. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Grounded back up the middle. Escobar fields it cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this.
We've got baseball from the home of the 2015 World Champs, Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. Today we bring you Conquest baseball action between the Ducks and the Royals. Fan allegiances in a key territory are on the line next on the show. Liner towards second. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So here in the first inning, the leadoff man's aboard to kick things off. And he's out trying to stretch it into a double. So a costly mistake here leading off the inning. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. What do they need to do to get a win on the road here today, Harold? Well, Matt, they got a great pitcher on the mound. So to me, my philosophy changes when I know he's throwing. I only need a couple of runs. So I get that leadoff guy on. I may move him up and drive in a run every time I get an opportunity. And then it just relaxes him on the mound as well, knowing he's got a couple runs early and let him do his thing. Knuckle curve there off the outside corner. 2-0. 2-0 oh. oh pitch on the way. Now a swing and a fly ball. And he pushed it just a bit too much. It'll wind up a foul ball. Now the pitch. Bouncer down the line. And he goes to second with it. And he'll get in there safely. Batting third. Stepping up now, Neil Walker. Great Neil chance to Walker. drive in a run here in the early going. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hey. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Batting four. Here's Javier Baez. Opportunity for him Javier here to pick up that runner from Baez. second with two away. First offering on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. Merrifield scoops it up. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back. We've got baseball from the home of the 2015 World Champs. Kaufman. Jason Vargas is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Kansas City. Harold, what do you got? Well, he's got Back four pitches basement. to work with and he uses them all at all different times in the game. So he keeps hitters off balance and gives you a lot to think about. Line towards center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out the first. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Second. Stepping up now, Rod, Rod Carew, Carew, looking to get something to the right side with that leadoff man at second to start the ball game. And this is low, ball one. 
Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Now, Fillmore's an interesting case. I call him one of those guys that calls the corners. A little wider, but up and down, he's not giving you much. So if you just put a little... This ball gets down. Let's see if they try to score. And now Moss is going to have to play this off the wall. And he's in at second base with a first inning double. Yeah, I think he was sitting on the fastball, so he got the changeup. He was Not way in out in front of it, but he the kept right his hands back 20. long enough to keep Neil it fair Slaughter. down the line. That's not always easy to do. Here's Neil Walker. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls in a strike. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Here's the 0-1. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Going after it is Gordon. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Got his job done there and made it Batting look pretty four. simple. Got it the into the field, outfield to bring nine. home the first run of the game Javier and pick up the RBI. Baez. Here's Javier Baez. The potential second run of the inning stands at third. Ball Whoa, one. One oh count here it is and that'll get through into center field for a base hit and they'll extend their lead even further as the runs into score from third it's a two nothing ball game and he is out trying for two bases but credit him with a single and an RBI here into the windup and the pitch hit back toward the mound tough throw to first and he'll make that play look easy as the throw is in time to end the inning. Juan Marichal, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, he's got five pitches, and I mean, they're all good. He throws them for strikes, he dominates, and mixes speeds up. I asked him one day, what's your best pitch? And he told me, all five. Alcides Escobar is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. 0-1 oh, count and the pitch. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. Batting second, third baseman. Here now is Chesler Cuthbert. Cuthbert. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. Into his windup, here comes the 1-0. That missed. Close, it's ball two. He may be down 2-0 after those first two pitches in this A-B, but those are pitches he can feel pretty good about. They didn't miss by a whole lot, so it's not like he's all over the place. And he drops it. And he's going to make it up to second base safely as he's in there. My word. In now is Lorenzo Kane. Oh, and here's a fastball right down the middle of the plate that swung on and hit out the deep left field. And this one's not coming back. This is a long home run.
We've got baseball from the home of the 2015 world champs. Kaufman, Jason Vargas will be the starter for the Royals in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this Second guy has a four-pitch repertoire, he right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard, soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. And that is where the wheels pay off as he's able to make it into second with a hustle Rod double. Carew. Coming to the plate now, Rod Carew looking to get something to the right side with that leadoff man at second to start the ball game. And this is low, ball one. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Now, Fillmore's an interesting case. I call him one of those guys that calls the corner. This ball gets down. Let's see if they try to score. Now the relay home. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. Batting third. The right field Digging in 20. the switch hitter, Neil, Neil Walker. Walker. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. From the stretch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Kane on the move. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. Got his job done there and made Nine it look four. pretty simple. Got well, it into the outfield to bring nine. home the first run of the game Javier and pick up the Baez. RBI. Here's Javier Baez. The potential second run of the inning stands at third. Now a line drive that's going to carry over the head of Escobar into left center of base hit. And that'll score the run from third as they go up two to nothing now. And a mistake here as he's tagged out Johnny in no Finn. man's land. First baseman. Devin. And that'll bring Travis. up the speedy Devin Travis. Into the windup and the pitch. Softly hit out to short. Oh, what a stop on the slide. Got him. So two runs. Here's Alcides Escobar.
Just off I-70 on the east side of town, a look at Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. Today it'll be Conquest Baseball between the Ducks and the Royals. A valuable territory and a lot of fan support are on the line. Next, Kane has it and it's a quick out number one. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. What's going to be the key for him today, HR? Well, Matt, they got a great pitcher on the mound, so to me, my philosophy changes when I know he's throwing. I only need a couple runs. So I get that leadoff guy on, I may move him up and drive in a run every time I get an opportunity. And then it just relaxes him on the mound as well, knowing he's got a couple runs early and let him do his thing. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. And it's in time. He's out at second as a good relay gets him. Batting third. Into the, the box catcher, now, Hernan Perez. First Hernan chance for him here Perez. in the top of the first with nobody on. Hit hard on the ground to second. Mirrorfield brings it in. Throw to first. He's out. Just in plenty. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Should be a good conquest matchup today between the Ducks and the Royals. Fan allegiances in a key territory are on the line next on the show. D. Gordon is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. Here it comes. 1-0. This is line to left. And they'll start this inning off with a base hit as that one's through. So that leadoff base hit means considerable speed aboard to start out the inning. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. What are the keys to success for them today, Harold? This is going to be a dogfight tonight. They are facing a premier pitcher. I'm talking about one of the elite guys in the league. I want to see if they make little tweaks to how they might attack him. Are they going to lay off that nasty breaking ball with two strikes? Or will they be able to drive the ball in the ballpark when they get that one pitch to hit? This is going to be a great matchup. Perez. Now at the plate, Hernan Perez. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. The 0 1 pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here it comes, 0 2. Now this is on the ground for Hosmer over there. At He's out. First. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. Here's Alcides Escobar, the shortstop. It lead things off here in the bottom the half of the first. The Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. There's a swing and a high pop-up. Travis is there for it, and that's the first out of the inning. Batting second, third baseman. Here now is Chesler Cuthbert. 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 
Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Just off I-70 on the east side of town, a look at Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. It should be a good conquest matchup tonight between the Ducks and the Royals. A valuable territory and a lot of fan support are on the line. Next, D. Gordon is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning, 1-0. Line to the right side. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out the first. And he's out trying to stretch it into a double. So a costly a mistake here leading Down off the fielding. inning. Rod Carew. So striding forward now, Rod Carew. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Moss will handle this one, and there are two away now. Batting third. The catcher standing in Hernan Perez Hernan first chance Perez. for him here in the top of the first with nobody on hit hard on the ground to second the tag and they'll get him at second Now from the longtime home of the Royals, Day Baseball from Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. Today we Leading bring you Conquest Ducks. Baseball action between the Ducks the and the Royals. Royals. Fan allegiances in a key territory are on the line next on the show. Now the pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. And no chance there for Escobar. It's a base hit. And he's out trying to stretch it into a double, so a costly mistake here leading off the second. inning. Center fielder. Rod At the plate, Carew. Rod Carew. He'll get to take his first cuts here. This is line to left. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. The relay. The tag, and he's nabbed trying for two. 
batting third. So striding in, Hernan Perez. First Hernan chance for him here Perez. in the top of the first with nobody on. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Moss giving chance. Afternoon baseball here in the show. Today, Tori and a lot of fan support are on the line. Next, a leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And he's going to make it up to second base safely as he's in there. My word. If that's any indication, I think we're going to see some aggressive at-bats in this one. Take the first pitch of the game? No way. He squared it up and winds up on second base after a nice line drive great opportunity to get on the board right out of the blocks sent on the ground out to second and a rather easy first out so coming to the plate Hernan Perez trying to pick up that first run in this one leadoff man at third with one away only play Nothing but blue skies above as you get a look there at Coors Field in downtown Denver. Today we bring you Conquest Baseball action between the Ducks and the Rockies. Fan allegiances in a key territory are on the line. Next on the show, hot shot on the ground is short. And he retired one away. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. What do they need to do to get a win on the road here today, Harold? Tell you what, Matt, they got a great pitcher going, so it takes the pressure off the offense. You know you don't need five or six runs to win a game. You just scrape out a couple, and he's going to make it stand up. Blackman will put this one away, and that's out number two. Batting third. Striding in, catcher, Hernan Perez. 14. 
first chance Third for down. him here in the top of Third the first down. with nobody on. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? It will. Just to the right of the chalk of fair ball. Around first. He's digging for second. And he will get there with the game's first hit. A two-out double. Batting fourth. The left At the plate, nine. Javier Baez. Javier a great opportunity for Baez. him here in a run-scoring spot. Now following the two-out double. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he lays off there, 1-0. Oh. Well, right here's why you got him in the four spot to drive in runs. Now you come up with the big hit there. You put a guy at second base in scoring position. And here comes the big boy, number four. Do your job, big fella. Drive him in. Back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Perez rounds the corner and is headed home. The tag. And he is out at the play. And so much for our... Here's Charlie Blackman now. Nothing but blue skies above as you get a look there at Coors Field in downtown Denver. Tonight, it's Conquest Baseball between the Ducks, the Ducks and the Rockies. A valuable Dean territory Jordan. and a lot of fan support are on the line. Next, this is hit the other way out toward left field. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Center fielder. Rod into the Carew. box now. Rod Carew. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. Almost a worm burner as he misses on a low fastball, ball one. On 0-2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up, but when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay off because you can tell the ball is moving further away from eye level as it comes in. The relay. But he'll be in there with a double. Well, he had two strikes on the hitter. Perfect count to put him Got away. Him Tried to elevate the, the catcher, fastball, just 14. didn't get it up there enough. Hernan Perez. Coming to the plate now, Hernan Perez. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. But this will hang just long enough for him to run it down in shallow right for the second out. Batting fourth, the left fielder, number nine, Javier. Stepping up Baez. to the plate, Javier Baez. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Hit sharply on the ground. Story picks it up. Throw to first will get him easily. And the side is
Now from Coors Field at the foot of the Rocky Mountains, MLB The Show is on the air. Tonight, it's Conquest Baseball between the Ducks and the Rockies. A valuable territory and a lot of fan support are on the line. Next, he's got a hurry, and a good throw gets him one gun. At the plate, Rod Carew. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. We'll be in the 80s later this afternoon, but for now, 79 degrees at first pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. In there, a base hit. Throw into second. The tag, and he is out at second. Batting third. Now to the plate, Hernan Perez. Hernan first chance for Perez. him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Sends that one out of play for strike one. The pitch. Hard hit ball to short. Scorey picks it up. Throw to first. To Get him easily. Nothing but blue skies above as you get a look there at Coors Field in downtown. Number 49, the right-hander from Venezuela gets the starting nod Leading in this one. HR, what's the word on it? Well, he's got four pitches to work with and Gordon. uses them all at all different times in the game. So he keeps hitters off balance and gives you a lot to think about. And on one pitch, he's Not retired. Exactly. Center fielder. Rod now with the plate, Rod Carew. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Line drive to center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. The relay onto the shortstop covering, and he dropped the ball. It'll stay right there, though, so there will be no advance. But they'll tag the runner anyway, as the drop doesn't cost him, and there are two away. The catcher, number Stepping in, Hernan Perez. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. The pitch. Hit on the ground to third. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. More two-out success. A couple of base hits as they try to mount a rally here.
nothing but blue skies above as you get a look there at Coors Field in downtown Denver. Should be a good conquest matchup today between the Ducks and the Rockies. Fan allegiances in a key territory are on the line next on the show. A range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. Harold, what's the key to a road victory for them in this one? Well, Matt, this is a hitter's ballpark. I mean, you hit the, the, the ground ball, it's going to go through because the infield is fast, but it's the ball up in the zone. If you touch it, it's going to carry. So why not be aggressive? Look for that ball up and let it fly. Batting third, the catcher. Stepping up 14. to the plate, Hernan Perez. Hernan Perez. First Perez. chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. The 0 1 pitch. Hit to short. Scorey picks it up. Throw to first will get him easily. And the side is retired. Afternoon baseball here on the show. It should be a good conquest matchup tonight between the Ducks and the Rockies. The Fan allegiances Second and a key line. territory are on the line. Gordon. Next on the show, line hard. The wind up and the 0 1. A fastball right over the outside corner. And the pitch. Sent toward first. Oh, and he can't reel it in out there. And they'll tag him out here at first. Batting second. Stepping up now, there. Rod Carew. Rod Carew. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line toward center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Now at the plate, Hernan Perez. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And he lays off there, 1-0. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. This is in the air out to right field. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Well, that's why Batting they call court. baseball a game of the inches. Yeah, nine. you're right, Matt. He Hummier. showed some serious hops, Ryan. but not serious enough. He goes up high for it with a good leap, but he just can't bring it in. And that allows him to cruise into second with a good piece of hitting. Javier Baez is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Hard hit ball to second. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And a relay to the plate. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. Batting fifth. And Very that'll bring up the speedy Devin, Devin Travis. Travis. Trying to cash in here on this two-out rally. Couple of men in scoring position with two away. 
Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw on to first and that air. won't come. Nothing but blue skies above as you get a look there at Coors Field in downtown Denver. Number 31, the native of Colorado, gets the start on the mound. Leading What's your take on him, H? Well, he's Second got four pitches play. to work with and Leading. uses them all at all different times in the game. So he keeps hitters off balance and gives you a lot to think about. Swing hard liner to left center. And a leaping effort there, but it's over his head in the left center, a base hit. And he's out trying to stretch it into a double, so a costly mistake here leading off the inning. Center fielder, Rod Stepping Carew. up now, Rod Carew, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. In there, 0-1. Oh we'll be in the 80s later this afternoon, but for now, 79 degrees at first pitch. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Normally not a good pitching plan to throw the same hitter. Got him. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good conquest matchup today between the Ducks and the Rockies. Fan allegiances in a key territory are on the line next on the show. Squared that one up just a little late. The windup and the 0-1. Towards second. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out the first. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Batting second. Center fielder. At the plate, Rod, Rod Carew, Carew looking to get something to the right side with that leadoff man at second to start the ball game. First pitch on its way. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so 
it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. 0 oh, and 1 count and the pitch. Smoke toward third. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him. A base hit. The relay. The tag, and he's nabbed, trying for two. But one's all they get as the run scores. Batting third. Stepping in, Hernan Perez. 14. As he'll get his Hernan first opportunity Perez. in this one. Lays off 1-0. Takes this the other way to right. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. And they will tag him out. The show comes to you live from the Mile High City in Coors Field. Should be a good conquest matchup today between the Ducks and the Rockies. A valuable territory and a lot of fan support are on the line. Next, swing and a liner. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. And a good effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second base with a double. second, center fielder. Now with the Rod plate, Rod Carew. Carew looking to get something to the right side with that leadoff man at second to start the ball game. Sends that one out of play for strike one. The 0-1 on its way. Softly to the right side, should get the runner to third. And he is out, retreating to second as they slap the tag on him. And he'll get in there safely. Third, so striding forward now, Hernan Perez. Hernan Great chance Perez. to drive in a run here in the early going. Swinging a soft liner, and this is taken for the out. Here's Javier Baez. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two hey not a bad pitch right there on 0 and two a fastball and I think as a hitter right now you have to continue to go up there looking to hit off the fastball squared that one up just a little late well when you're hitting with two strikes you're just in battle mode right there he gets a breaking ball he just fouled it off got a piece of it and stays alive again a one two again he sends it out of play I like the pitch right there. Two strike fastball out of the zone. See if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time. See if he chases it again. Here's another one too. Got him swinging and.
nothing but blue skies above as you get a look there at Coors Field in downtown Denver. It should be a good conquest matchup tonight between the Ducks and the Rockies. A valuable territory and a lot of fan support are on the line. Next. V. Gordon. Looped out towards short. And a rather easy first out. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. What do they need to do to get a win on the road here today, Harold? Well, Matt, they got a great pitcher on the mound. So to me, my philosophy changes when I know he's throwing. I only need a couple runs. So I get that leadoff guy on. I may move him up and drive in a run every time I get an opportunity. And then it just relaxes him on the mound as well, knowing he's got a couple runs early and let him do his thing. Just a perfect afternoon for baseball. 80 degrees under clear blue skies. Now a flare out to left center. And that'll get down for a base hit. The throw into second. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. Man, it looked like the pitcher was trying to get him to go fishing in a pitch out of the strike zone. He went for it all right. But he managed to catch all of that baseball, lacing it for a double in the outfield. That's a great piece of hitting. First pitch coming. Here it is. Squared that one up just a little late. Ready with the 0-1. Grounded to third. Arenado has it. In time to first, and there are two away. Now to the plate. Javier Baez. Great chance to drive Javier in a run here in the early going. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a curveball that misses here to the cleanup man. It's 1-0. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early, causing it to miss inside. takes this the other way to right. Gonzalez will get there and he puts it away to retire the Here's Charlie Blackman now. Nothing but blue skies above as you get a look there at Coors Field in downtown Denver. It'll be conquest baseball action this evening between the Ducks and the Rockies. Fan allegiances in a key territory are on the line. Next on the show, here's D. Gordon now. He will lead Leading this one off today. Ducks. Second baseman, D. Gordon. And the first pitch of the afternoon misses as we get underway here at lovely Coors Field. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Chopped down the first baseline, but it's a foul ball, says the first base umpire. 
And a great day for baseball here. 81 degrees at first pitch. Line towards center field. And this inning starts with a solid base hit. So here in the first inning, the leadoff man's aboard to kick things off. And he's out trying to stretch it into a double, so a costly mistake here leading off the inning. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. What do they need to do to get a win on the road here today, Harold? Tell you what, Matt, they got a great pitcher going, so it takes the pressure off the offense. You know you don't need five or six runs to win a game. You just scrape out a couple, and he's going to make it stand up. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. High in the air out to center field. Blackman is under it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Batting third. At the plate, the Hernan Perez. 14. First chance for Hernan him here in the top of the Perez. first with nobody on. Squared that one up just a little late. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. Down and away, ball one. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Two out, nobody on. Looks at a changeup right over the middle. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. And a super play. The gun is Denver. It'll be conquest baseball action this evening between the Ducks and the Rockies. Fan allegiances in a key territory are on the line. Next on the show, D. Gordon is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. And there's ball one. Our temperature not quite as hot as we'd expected. 85 degrees the reading at first pitch. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. Now the one two home to Gordon. Fastball strike three called and he's caught looking to begin the afternoon. At the plate Rod Carew as Center he'll get his first opportunity Rod in this one. Carew. Sent on the ground out to second. Mayhew's got it, and he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Batting third. The now at the plate, Hernan Perez. First Hernan chance for him here Perez. in the top of the first with nobody on. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. 
takes a knee-high fastball. He has been aggressive in this inning. 0-2 on this hitter. The first two outs were recorded quick because he came right after the hitter. I don't think that changes right now either. He's going to continue to be aggressive to this hitter as well. And Gonzalez will make the catch, and the inning is over. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. The Rockies coming up. We've got no score. Number 27 will be tasked with the starting pitch. Now from Coors Field at the foot of the Rocky Mountains, MLB The Show is on the air. It'll be Conquest Baseball action this evening between the Ducks and the Rockies. Fan allegiances in a key territory are on the line next on the show. Therefore, it is Blackman, and he's got it for the first out. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. What's going to be the key for him today, H.R.? This is going to be a dog fight tonight. They are facing a premier pitcher. I'm talking about one of the elite guys in the league. I want to see if they make little tweaks to how they might attack him. Are they going to lay off that nasty? breaking ball with two strikes or will they be able to drive the ball in the ballpark when they get that one pitch to hit this is going to be a great matchup Hernan Perez is in with two away as he takes a ball one and oh hit hard on the ground to third scooped up on the backhand throw to first Nothing but blue skies above as you get a look there at Coors Field in downtown Denver. Should be a good conquest matchup today Leading between the, the Ducks, Ducks and the Rockies. Fan allegiances in a key territory are on the line next on the show. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Blackman is under it. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. Batting second. Center fielder. Settling in now, Rod, Rod Carew. Carew. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Oh. 
lined into left field a base hit the relay the tag and he's nabbed trying for two batting third the now catcher, in the box Hernan Perez Hernan first chance for Perez. him here in the top of the first with nobody on high in the air out towards shallow right Gonzalez has a read on it no trouble with this one and the inning is over so a relatively rude MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. It'll be Conquest Baseball action this evening between the Ducks and the, the Rockies. Ducks. A valuable Second territory baseball. and a lot Three. of fan support oh. are on the line. Next. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. And that is where the wheels pay off as he's able to make it into second with a hustle double. If that's any indication, I think we're going to see some aggressive at-bats in this one. Take the first pitch of the game? No way. He squared it up and winds up on second base after a nice line drive. Great opportunity to get on the board. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Well, nice job right there. He comes through with the RBI base hit, and now his side has the lead. The catcher, number 14. Ready now, Hernan Perez. Perez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Hit hard towards center, and that's in there. Base hit. Carew is on his way home. The relay, and the run's going to come into score from second as they grab a 2 to nothing lead now. I guess their scouting nine reports points. on this guy were dead well, on because it's nine. already 2 nothing in the early air. going, and they're Ryan. having absolutely no trouble seeing him here. On the other side, they're very quickly looking at a game that they're going to have to fight back in. Javier Baez is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. A one pitch on its way. Line drive to center field. That's in there. Base hit. Perez rounds third and is digging for the plate. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's a 3 nothing game. And he's safe. Batting fifth. First baseman. Devin Travis. <laughs> and that'll bring up the speedy Devin Travis. He swings and grounds it to short. Oh, a reaching try as he knocks it down. Throw goes over to third. Ball's there, and he is out at third. And he's going to make it up to second base safely as he's in there. Having My fixed. word. Third baseman, Jose. And Peraza. here's Jose Peraza. Another first inning RBI opportunity for him here. Heading out towards shallow right. Gonzalez giving chase. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. The tag at third, and they got him. A double play, and very quickly. Here's Charlie Blackman now.